Hey, I'm Jeff Connell, and welcome to my Divorce Dad Diary. This time, I need your help. I'm in my son's room. He's eight, and one of the things that I've been trying to read up on and figure out what the right way to go is, especially knowing that he maintains two houses, is how much control to have over how clean his room is. My guy is not a kiddo that likes cleaning up after himself. I know most aren't, right? But my guy likes to take stuff out, play with it, and even have sort of an organized mess where he knows where most things are, but they're certainly not picked up at the end of the day. This is what his room typically looks like. He won't make his bed necessarily. If I make him, he'll go back and put the blankets and flatten them out and, and do a little job with it. His desk is usually pretty intense, and oftentimes there's toys and displays that he sets up that he wants to leave where they are. I've struggled because I've seen two schools of thought. Either do a daily cleanup and make sure that organization is key, or let their room and their space kind of be theirs to manage. It was about two weeks ago that we did a full cleanup. It looked great. It's changed a lot. Even the walls are pretty busy when we've hung his art. So I'm struggling with what the right answer is. Should I have him on more of a schedule and maybe a chore reward type situation where cleaning up your room is part of the daily routine or at least weekly routine? Or do you believe that laying off their space is what's right? Give them the choice of how they want their room to be and let them have a little more leeway. I'm curious what you do, and do you try and maintain consistency at both houses if you're in a divorce parenting situation? Do you try and make those rules the same? Your advice appreciated for sure on this. It's something I'm struggling with, and that is this week's Divorce Dad Diary.